I, I view you, and I want you to correct me if I'm wrong, but you, 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 you uh, basically are a lobbyist organization. And as a lobbyist, of course, your education, your educational activities is the foundation of your lobbying effort. Your lobbying is mostly done at the state house, but you also lobby within the government, within the various towns and cities in the we, state. We don't lobby municipalities. We don't no, go I said to educate. Educate, yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, we don't <laughs> lobby. Yeah, we don't go and lobby for a passage of a, a, a Warren article in the community. Right. That's, that we don't do that, no. Mm -hmm. um, lobbying activity that I see that you do over the years to the extent that I've been able to follow your history, which thanks to the internet, I've been able to do with much greater ease than in the past, uh, it seems like they're, you're a very effective lobbying organization. Um, and there are other lobbying groups in the state that you're kind of like interacting with or doing battle with, depending on how you want to phrase it. <laughs> yeah, it all depends on the issue. Yeah, um, there sometimes, sometimes we can... We work with them. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, we don't agree. I mean, there's a group that we traditionally work with a lot, a town clerk's, tax, a town clerks association. 90% of the time we agree on, on bills that come through. Every year there's one bill that we're going to be loggerheads. Town Clerks? Town Clerks Association. Mm -hmm. They have their own association. They have their own. Okay. Yep. That's very like interesting. There's a, there's a uh, road agents association. There's a library association. There's a, <laughs> there's a manager's association. There's a group of for everybody. Tax, tax collectors. So there's other associations. And you're really an association for the governing body. You're right? the government, right. We're the governing, the governing body. Yeah. Right. Is there an association for the legislative bodies? We... We view it as we represent the municipality as a whole, as a whole. Mm -hmm. and the governing body is essentially the CEO of the municipality because we have to be able to get our marching orders from somebody. So then those other organizations like the town clerk and et cetera, you would consider those to be, uh, you know, uh, redundant to no. what you're doing because well, absolutely you're not. actually representing them they, as well, right? They have more... Uh, specialized knowledge of what they're doing. They're, they're the people with the feet on the ground every day off of their organizations. Mm -hmm. I mean, even as a, as a manager, I don't know every time that the town, what the town clerk goes through in, every day. They need to get together and explain what they, what they see, and especially if there's an issue with a bill that's gonna impact their operations. So no, I don't see them as redundant. They're just more specialized. Mm -hmm. what we, you know, what we do. We try to look at what's going to impact the municipality as a whole. So you're going to your body conferences and you're collecting representatives from the governing bodies. We collect from a broad array. We have planning board members. We have governing bodies. Um, we well, have select when they're making the choice, uh, basically, and they're the governing body. Select when they're making the choice for what? I'm sorry. Who's, re who's representing a town, so to for speak? the policy? In the policy. At the policy yeah. conference? Yeah, that's where you decide what policies you're going to pursue or not pursue. Right. Right. So when you're deciding which policy you're going to pursue or not pursue for your lobbying efforts for the coming year, you're, you're uh, basing that decision on the votes of people that the towns send to that meeting. And the people that are sent to that meeting from those towns are basically decided by the Board of Selectmen, that is to say, the governing body. So the representatives are really representatives of the governing body. Fair? You you may find that and... Is that a fair statement, is all I'm asking? I think it's a fair statement. I think that you are suggesting that there's some bias in that, and... No, I I'm think most sure. of the time, most of the time, the governing body and the legislative body's interests are aligned, but there are times when they're not. And uh, there is no legislative body lobbying group that, that represents the legislative body when they are not aligned. So there's kind of a, a occasional problems that arise from that. And I think part of what Mr. Lane was speaking at the deliberate session actually speaks to this very point. Because you remember his famous phrase was, uh, you know, quote, they don't represent us, they don't ask us. And I sat back and I looked at that video several times and I'm asking myself, who is he talking about? Us. And I realized he's talking to the town meeting. He's talking to the legislative body. And he's saying just, just that. There are times that, well, in fact, you don't ask the legislative body. You ask representatives of the governing body. And his statement had some basis of merit, in my opinion. 
And I just wanted to kind of highlight that because I, I don't think he went over the top with that statement while many might interpret that as going over the top.